Hello, my name is Dolly Sen and I'm writer, filmmaker, artist and mental health activist. And I'm here to talk about the social model of mental distress or madness. Basically, the social model of mental distress or madness has come out of the social model of disability. It, it was a response to the medical model of uh, mental health, mental distress. The mental, um, the mental health, the medical model of mental health kind of locates the problem within the person. So basically they think that the, the brain is broken, the, the problem is within the person and in the person only. Um, this is quite problematic for a number of reasons. It doesn't matter, for example, if you've become homeless or you've um, been in a domestic violence situation or you're having problems with your benefits or your job. Um, if, the, if you're depress, depressed because of it, um, according to the med medical model, it's because something in your brain or within you is broken and needs to be fixed. Um, to me, that this is you know blatantly obvious that it's the, the social situation around that person that has caused their distress. So there, there has, there's needed to be another way to look at someone's distress. Um, beyond the medical model. So the social model of dis, um, disability came around to, sh to show that the, the environment, the, the, the world around the disabled person is, is what is disabling. It's stuff like the environment, environmental barriers, um, social barriers and the barriers of people's attitudes and assumptions about disability. And this is true of mental health as well. One of the problems with um, um, having a mental health condition is the, the attitude of the society around you. Yeah, the med medical model of mental distress um, assumes that the problem is within the person, is within the person's brain, the brain is broken, even though there is absolutely no evidence or very little evidence to say um, conditions like schizophrenia or bipolar are located in the brain, there isn't the evidence. Where there is evidence is that there are things like poverty, trauma in childhood or adverse life events, social issues like ho homelessness, poverty, um, racism, sexism, homophobia has an impact on people's mental health. So that is the way you can understand that is to understand that the social model of mental distress, that it's the world around the person that is disabling them or causing them difficulty. The problem is, with, um, is around the person, not within the person. Um, and the kind of barriers that a lot of people with mental health problems have, have to deal with is stuff like stigma and discrimination, you know, if I put on my business card, I, I hear voices, do you think I'd get a job? Um, yeah, I wouldn't be you know, the first on the list for um, being employed. Um, it's, it's stuff like if I had a com crime committed against me, my word wouldn't be worth anything in a court of law because um, I'm deemed a, a, you know, a person who um, can't tell the truth. Yeah, it, it, um, for example, I can give a personal example. I was assaulted on a, a hospital ward, and um, assault, assaulted on a hospital ward, and um, I reported it, but it didn't go any further because um, they said that I it didn't really happen. It was all in my mind. Um, and I, as a you know, I, person with mental distress, where am I supposed to go if the society that around me um, disables me in every way, in every corner? So the, ment the, the social model of mental distress has come out of the social model of disability, but it has its own unique features as well. Um, and one of those being that it's 
it's quite problematic to see mental distress as an impairment because um, some people think their mental health condition is just a different way of being. For example, somebody with the, um, if you look across the spectrum like autism or ADHD or per voice hearer, um, some people who have those experiences just think it's just a different way of being a human being and it's not an impairment at all. So that's one way it differs from the social model of disability.